Um, I'll introduce myself, Joe Walden from Get Tech Design Group. We're the uh, lead consultant on the project. Um, I, I would just like to start by thanking um, the mayor, Bill Hanna, uh, RDA. Uh, it's been a great opportunity. It's been a great experience. We're, we're near the finish line, um, but we've been practically working on this project you know, every day nonstop for the past three years. And uh, we're very proud. We're extremely proud of this, this, this building, this park, everything that we've done. And I hope you guys all are too, because this is the park for the city of Gary, in Northwest Indiana. A um, couple of big things I wanted to talk about. I mean, not only are we extremely proud of, of what we built, the capital improvements, everything in this building, but just big picture stuff. Um, six out of the eight contractors on this project are from the city of Gary. The majority of the construction workers on this project are from the city of Gary. Over 60% of the workers in this building are residents of the city of Gary. Those are, those are, those are big important items. And we're proud of those, those things that came out of this. 90 construction jobs, four permanent jobs, 32 part-time jobs. Uh, Cliff will probably talk about this, but Rome's Joy and our caterers hired a lot of local residents for, uh, for their staff in this building. Um, We've leveraged other projects. We've gotten additional grants. We're continuing to look at other grants. The uh, Lagoon work, which is still currently happening behind us, you know, immediately north of the building, that was an additional grant that we got from the uh, from the EPA. Um, that was that was possible because of the money that the city received from the uh, from the RDA for this project. Uh, one of the things from that grant was 20 local jobs. We're well on our way of putting 20 out of work city of Geary workers. Um, to work and green jobs on that project. Um, uh, we're under budget, uh, very important to us. We've uh, overall, we've uh, through the you know fiscal responsibility of the city and the RDA and, and our team, we've kept this project under budget. Because of that, we've been able to do a lot of additional items that were not in the original scope. All the furniture that everyone's sitting on, the rugs, the plates, the silverware. All these items were additional items that the city was able to do because of uh, the project overall being under budget. One of the pretty cool things that just recently got installed, which I'm pretty happy about, is that uh, you see some, some artwork behind us, some photographs. We were able to uh, uh, work with a group of people in the community. Joyce Davis is here, she wants to raise her hand. Uh, Irene Smith King was heavily involved and others. Uh, the uh, local community issued an RFP to local artists. Um, asking for public art, for photography that would be hung in this building. Um, we received over 100 different images, 14 different artists submitted, 23 were chosen, uh, 10 different artists were selected, and I hear that there's four of the artists here, um, so they may want to raise their hands and acknowledge themselves because their work is hanging in the building. Right now. Please take some time too. There's a number of pieces down here. There's some in the vestibule. There's some pieces up in the green rooms upstairs in the women's restroom. A couple more pieces that are still coming, but uh, it, it, it's it's great stuff. My my wife's got her eye on one of them too that she wants me to get for her, but uh, maybe for Christmas. But uh, um, so again, it's 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 some of those things that, uh, that that have happened because of this. Something we just found out about this week, we just won an award. Our uh, architect, Byron Tosa Studio, submitted this building to uh, Masonry Construction, and we got uh, the uh, Historic Restoration Project of the Year from them. So I think that's it. Just uh, please get out. Um, I, I'm hoping to do this maybe one last time in the spring when we uh, could unveil all the special event space and everything outside because the whole lakefront is is awesome. I'm, I'm really happy with how that came out, and uh, you know, it could be a nice spring day and have something out there as well. But uh, uh, thank you. Have a great time tonight. So.